Hey all, so today what I'm going to be covering is a great way of relighting a CG just using a normal pass. Um, and what it allows you to do is we can rotate the normal pass, creating masks that we can then plug into grade nodes. And it gives us, uh, in the film VFX industry, it can be very comp heavy and you might have to add these last minute light changes just to add nice rim light. And this I found is a great way to do it. Instead of going in and rotoing areas and using those kind of things and having to kick stuff back to CG, I found this is a great way just to very quickly, uh, even if it's just look dev or final, I've used it in both circumstances. It's a very quick way to do this stuff. So here's what you need. You need just a regular beauty pass. And then you're also going to need a normal pass, which we have here. So what you want to do, first of all, is just shuffle out your lay it out nicely so shuffle out your normal normal pass just by going into here and then mine's just in just in there so if I do this and then set this back to RGBA so we can see where we shuffled it to we're good and I've added a dot node in here just by holding down control and clicking on the, uh, the yellow dot that comes up so once we've got this we now need to manipulate this pass as you can see, we've got light from the side, from above, and from the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an axis node in. And we're not going to attach this, we're just going to leave it to the side for now. Then we're going to put a color matrix in. Now what a color matrix does is it's basically a multiplier. And it will just multiply these. So if I put 1, 1, 1 here, it's kind of like a shuffle. So it goes 1 multiplied by the red channel, 0 multiplied the green, 0 multiplied the blue. Okay, add those all up. Well we kind of left with just a red and that goes in it. Same with this, green, zero, zero, blues, one, zero, zero. So, but what we can do, we can also do some great maths with this <clears throat> on our color channels. Now what this does is basically, this uses um, arc tan and arc uh, sine and arc cos. So, and you can look into that, uh, again, I think the, uh, the foundry's got some great stuff on their website about that. That's where I initially, after discovering this great technique, um, I kind of went on there and just worked through the math using just an expression node. Uh, so, okay, what you need to do with our axis node, open the two panels up. I like mine floating, so I just put them next to each other. Uh, we need to basically shuffle this 3x3, three three, this greyed out 3x3, three three, into this 3x3. Three three. As you can see, it's, uh, at the moment it's greyed out, so we need to be able to control, drag, so that they're linked by expressions, but we can't. So if we click this, now allows us to access this stuff. So if we control click, on here, drag that up to this corner, control click to this one, control click, and then just keep working our way across. So as you can see, we're just taking the top left three by three grid that matches. We don't need to worry about any of this. So uh, what we need to do now, now we've got that in, if we click this, because we now want to be able to access our rotation panel here. So if we unclick this, there we go, now we've got this. So you now if I adjust our rotate, it now adjusts here, like that. So as you can see, it's updating light depending on what's in here, which is exactly what we're wrong, because now we're using doing some 3D math just on some colors. But however, this is also 3D, 3D info, so we're, we're using the same world and the same math on this stuff. So with this in mind, I'm going to go here, and let's say I want to you uh, rotate the, uh, yes, let's add some nice rim lights. So, it's a great way to experiment, so let's see what we can do. So, what I generally do is I look at all the color channels while I'm doing this, and then just scroll through and just see what each one's doing. So, so we could add, if we view, turn that to zero, let's, let's do Y. So we could add a nice rim light just on the side here, just like that. And as you can see, it's got the nice kind of details and all this stuff just in there. So, if we really push those across, you can see we've got a nice rim light there, or we could even, if we look at the uh, the green channel here, and we can really start working up and maybe adding some top bits here. So that's just a great way I found just to add some nice, again, you've got a really nice top light there, uh, just hitting his nose and his ear. So that's a really great way of um, creating masks. Is. But now what do we do with these masks? So what we'd want to do. So we now want to shuffle our chosen channel, because as you can see we've got this with an alpha that's just should match. So okay, so the blue's being shuffled in, so it's just gonna give us the blue channel there. So what we want to do, let's say we really like this green, we really like this nice rim light from the top. 
So we just put a shuffle, I hit tab, and put S, and then it's like the third one down, but you can carry on type of shuffle, and it'll slowly give you less and less results, and there we go. So, I like the green, and we want to put this in the alpha so we can use it as a mask. Do that now again, we don't have to do that, we could, if we put in a grade node and we wanted to use the green channel, we could, we could just select it, however, generally the ethos is put all, all your mask in the alpha, and again, in industry, it's a nice standard to have, just to when everyone's kind of worked late and a bit tired, it's a bit, you don't have to search around for this stuff. So I'm just going to neaten this up. And now we're going to check this. So R, G, B, and then A. Yep. And now G and A should match. You can see up here, it's uh, it's changing here, and they're the same. So now, now we've got that. Put a grade node in. Plug that into mask. I'm also going to backdrop it and just say what we've created. So we created a nice rim right there. So we'll just put. Um, Light from top edge. Like that, or we should maybe put on top edge. Like that. Which we bold, italic, and I like to make it nice and big so it's, uh, it kind of really jumps out of here. So now here's our beauty. Now, what we want to do when we grade this stuff is we want to put an unpre molt in. Again, just for uh, to make sure we maths is all correct and we don't. Uh, grade some semi transparent edges, alias edges. Okay, so now we've got that. We can now go in and add our grades. So now we go in there, and can you see we can just add a nice little bit of detail there. And again, we're kind of getting this now. That's just due to my render. I mean, we could blur that slightly, it might affect our edge. We could blur that, or uh, if you've got a better render than me, then, then it does all sorts of going to give you a better result. But yeah, again, it gives you a nice kind of rim light to your shot. So that is my quick tip for doing quick reloads.